Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm going to do a beer by um, Springhouse Brewing. They're out of Conestoga, Pennsylvania. And uh, it is a, a robust porter that has coffee and coconut added. And then it's been aged in Jim Beam bourbon barrels. So it is called Blood Turning Black. They do have a base beer called Blood Turning Black um, that just comes out and it's the robust uh, coffee coconut porter. But then this is a special version that has the bourbon barrel aging to it that's part of their what they call Skull Chapter, which is kind of like a beer society, which some breweries do, most famously the brewery out of California. So other people are branching out and doing these things. Cork and Cage takes a little bit of time. And oh my god, this thing is in there. You guys can watch me. Struggle with the cork. Sometimes you just gotta wiggle these bitches to get them. Man, damn spring house. Make me break my hand. I feel like I'm starting to get it. But now it's making my hand sweat. There we go, here it's coming. Damn, well that was an ordeal. I'm hoping it tastes really good so it's worth the work. Whew. All right, pouring it looks pretty dark, as you would assume from a robust porter. Yep, as you can see, very dark, nice tan head to it as well. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, okay, I can immediately get some of that coconut because coconut's such a distinct smell. I get a lot of bourbony sweetness in there, a little, you know, caramel, some vanilla to it. Definitely get some of the coffee, but the coffee's kind of in the bottom of all those other stacked smells. And there's a dark chocolate note in there as well, which I think everything I just said encapsulates the smell very, very well. It smells very good. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. It's a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. I thought it might be a tad bit more rough. Um, the coconut is throughout. Um, the high ABV, oh, actually the ABV, what is the ABV? I'm assuming it's high because it's bourbon barrel age, but someone had said it was 13%, yep, 13.9, so almost 14%, Jesus. It does not taste like that. It tastes like 10. It tastes like 10. So there's like a nice kind of bitter coffee aspect to it. There's like bitter dark chocolate in there. The coconuts throughout, like I said. Uh, you get the bourbon as well, like the sweetness from that. Like I was saying on the nose, like the vanilla aspect, as well as um, there's actually some like burb, um, oaky character on there. Caramel. A lot of coconut though, I'm pretty surprised. Um, Actually, I shouldn't be because I'd had the base beer like two months ago, and there was a lot of nice coconut to it. So this is a really nice beer. Um, finishes really well, good throughout. All the flavors are pretty harmonious, and the coconut's at a great level, which a lot of beers that use coconut, in my opinion, don't use enough coconut, so it's just like barely there. This really lets you know it's there. Super awesome beer. Thank you so much for making this, uh, Springhouse, and I can't wait to see what else you put out in your Skull Chapter. Hopefully everyone else wants to see that as well. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out, and go have yourself an awesome beer.